here are some signs that you are with a narcissist um, I've been posting a lot of these videos and a lot of you keep asking me what are some simple signs to know if you are dealing with a narcissist or if your husband your spouse your partner is a narcissist I'm gonna list a few here and don't just take one and go with it because we all I guess they say have certain traits but a full-blown narcissist will have more than one of these signs and sometimes they have all of them so these are the things to look out for number one the person is very very selfish they are selfish and self-centered they only think about themselves if you're thinking about life goals and future dreams and anything like that they always talk about me 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 apparently they don't speak french so we is not in their vocabulary it's always me 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 and you'll see it they'll either say it or from their actions you see that they are selfish and self-centered and everything revolves around them they do things for themselves and themselves only and they make you do things for them as you leave yourself out so it's like pouring into a cup you pour 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 into their cup but no nothing gets into your cup and you're empty another sign is arrogance the narcissist is very arrogant they have this god-like um complex about them they think that they are god the narcissist i dealt with used to tell me that he was my god on earth like and he believed that he said that he was my god on earth and i had to treat him as is heck no but yeah they believe things like that they're very arrogant you'll see that from the way they act in public and they only do this to people who they think are inferior to them they for some reason worship and respect wealthy people beautiful people or you know just people who are higher up in the society but they look down on simple people like your waitresses your cashiers your just regular people doing regular jobs they are very rude and arrogant to those kind of people because they feel a sense of superiority to those people another sign is that they have antisocial personality disorder a lot of people get this wrong they think that antisocial or antisocial personality disorder is a person who doesn't like people or who doesn't like to be around people that is a hundred percent false it's a hundred percent fake antisocial personality disorder is a person who the quickest example i can give is a lot of the people in jail you know your schmurderer your apes that starts with a r your pd fires your shoplifters your rob robbers <laughs> criminals basically criminals they think they are above the law so they can do they feel like they can do certain things because they're above the law they have antisocial personality disorder and the list with that goes on and on but those are just a few examples another way to tell you're dealing with a narcissist is that they will never ever ever take the blame for anything whatever happens even if they physically hit you they will tell you that you made them hit you if they steal your money they'll tell you that you gave them no choice but to go behind your back and steal from you they will do the worst things to you they'll find a way to flip it and make you the the reason why they did it and they'll sometimes even do it so well that you'll find yourself apologizing to them for something they did um they never ever ever take accountability for their actions they always flip it it's called projection they project their ways their behaviors and their actions on you and make you take the blame for it another sign is that they don't apologize they don't real apologize fake apology is great for them they can fake apologize anytime a fake apology is when you're finally fed up or when you act like you're fed up and you're trying to leave them they'll apologize to you they'll cry they'll beg you they'll tell you they'll change they'll do all of these things that's a fake apology that's a sign of manipulation they're trying to trick you into not leaving so you can stay and take more of the abuse a real apology a genuine apology will never come out of the narcissist as a matter of fact as i said most times you'll have to apologize for their actions so they don't apologize another sign of a narcissist is that they still 
the narcissist, there's something about them. It goes back to the antisocial personality disorder, but they steal a lot. You'll notice that the narcissist will steal, whether it's big things or little things, they are thieves. They will steal. They'll steal your joy. They'll steal your money. If you have certain clothes or outfits or certain accessories that makes you look good, they'll steal it and sell it. That's what the narc used to do to me. Every time I buy myself a bag or something nice that I get compliments about, they'll steal it. It, it'll go missing. I will never find that thing uh, that thing again. Um, if I have a nice car, they'll break into the car. Like things, things like that. They still, still, still. So they'll shoplift. They will steal from their family members. They'll steal from you. Like I said, they'll steal your joy, your youth, your your pride, your money, anything they can steal. They'll steal it. Another sign to go with the stealing is the lying. The narcissist is a pathological liar. They will lie through their teeth. They will lie, 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 lie. It's kind of like the projection as well. They will lie their way into anything they did. They'll lie their way out of it. You can literally have proof and show them. Let's say they were texting a girl and you say, why are you texting this girl? You're dating this girl. They will lie, lie, lie. If you show the proof of the text messages... They will say, wow, you are so low. Your self-esteem is so low that you're going to that length to go through my phone and show me text messages. They will lie, and that's called gaslighting. So even though you're showing them the reality, they will flip it and say that's not really what it is. So they're liars. They're also uh, thieves. Another sign that you're dealing with a narcissist is that they are jealous of you. These people are so jealous. They envy you, they, they are jealous of you, and they want to be you. So they'll mimic you. They like the same music you like, the same artworks, everything you like. They suddenly start liking it. But the only reason they do that is not only to marry you, but because they're jealous of you. And when they start doing those things, they want to do it better than you. Not only that, they want to stop you from doing it or hinder you from doing it so that they can do it and feel like they are better than you at any and everything. They will marry you and they will steal your whole personality and your lifestyle. And then you become the person on the outside. It's almost like you're, it's a, it's a out of body experience where you're watching this person slowly become you. And it's the most confusing thing ever, but that's what they do. Another sign is grandiosis. It goes back to lying too. Um, the narcissist is very grandiose. And what that means is they just have this, again, godlike complex of themselves. They think that they're bigger and better and superior to everybody, to everything. So they'll say things about themselves and you know that it's a lie, but they say it because they truly believe it. So the narcissist I dealt with, he was a fake financial advisor, and he would tell me that he's a 1% man. He is a 1% black man, and he has accomplished this and that, and he's a six-figure earner. Mind you, he was broken jobless, living with me, but he wanted to convince me of that. And it's so crazy and delusional because you see what the reality is, but they try to tell you otherwise. Uh, and a, another example of that is when they tell you that, they are the best thing that ever happened to you. You think back and say, okay, I had exes, I had ex-husbands, ex-boyfriends, ex-wives, and, you know, things were bad and we broke up for a reason, but nothing has ever been this bad. This is the worst situation I've ever been in. But they'll tell you that I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. And if you leave me, you will never get anybody like me. The narcissist told me that every day. I'm the best things, the best thing that ever happened to you. No man will ever want you if you ever left me. No man will ever treat you like I did. No man is as handsome and as successful and this and that. And when he would say that, I would say, please, God, let it be true. Like, let no man ever treat me like this. <laughs> So yeah, it's that grandiosis that they have. So there are many, many more signs. But if you see any of the signs that I just listed here in your person, there is a great chance that the person is narcissistic. Right before you go, the last sign is entitlement. They are very, very entitled. They're entitled to your money, your health, your family, anything that is about you. They feel entitled to it. And they feel like they deserve it and therefore you have to give it to them. And when you don't, don't you become the enemy. 
Comment below if you have experienced any of these signs with your person and if you think that they are a narcissist. You can also book a coaching call with me. The link is in my bio and follow me on all of my other platforms. All right, see you later.